Rule number one, never criticize. Even if it's constructive? Never. Men are incapable of growth, change, or progress. For men, self-improvement ends at toilet training. Huh. Hmm. I right, rule number two, laugh at whatever he says. What if what he says isn't funny? That's irrelevant. A fake laugh is like a fake orgasm. Fake orgasm is good? No, but a fake orgasm is better than no orgasm at all. Fake orgasm is no orgasm. Only to you. So you're not the only person in the room, you know. Let's not be selfish. <laughs> now that was perfect. Real or fake? You'll never know. Rule number three, men are very visual. We have to change your look. What's wrong with my look? You're a very attractive woman, but you are completely inaccessible. You're all about comfort and efficiency. What's wrong with comfort and efficiency? Well, nothing, except no one wants to fuck it. Hello, may I be of assistance? Yes, you may. We need that cocktail dresses, tight jeans, and some bras. It'll make my friends press sit up and say hello. They're not saying hello now? What are they saying? Actually, they're, they're giving off more of a passing nod rather than an outright greeting. You know what? Why don't you try this on? I think this would be wonderful. <laughs> now that is a bra. Mm -hmm. Boobies in this thing say, put me in your mouth, I taste good. Mm -hmm. I'm actually wearing one right now as we speak. Length is very important. We need short enough to see some thigh, but not so short to see. Badge. Mm. Badge says you're trying too hard. You think? Jeans are all about the curvature of the ass. You've, uh, well, you've got the raw materials. Now all you need is the proper presentation. Did you just tell me I have a nice ass. God, you always have to be so crass. Oh. Rule number four. Never talk about your problems, because men don't really listen or care. Some men care. No, some men pretend to care. When we ask you how you're doing, it's just guy code for let me stick my dick in your ass. Oh. Oh, I know you think Colin is above it all, but trust me, he's a guy. If he's even remotely into you, he's probably thought about each one of your orifices at least 10 times. I love how you assume all men are as perverse as you are. Oh, I don't assume. I know. Wait. We need to make one more stop. Why? I have tons of stuff. Nah, we have to make your hair longer. Men like something to grab onto other than your ass. Oh, my hair is fine. There is nothing wrong with my hair. Abby, a ponytail implies that you are either operating heavy machinery or emptying the litter box. Neither of those things inspires an erection. Well, uh, why is it my responsibility to inspire an erection? Why isn't that his job? 